Hi, my name is Jason Roberts. I'm a professor of medicine and pharmacy at the University of Queensland and a pharmacist at the Royal Brisbane Women's Hospital where I work in the intensive care unit. And my main area of research is antibiotics and making sure that we can dose them correctly. There are some patient groups which we confront in the hospital whereby if we were to choose a dose of antibiotic which we might use in other patients, it will result in a concentration which is either too low or too high. This is a fascinating aspect about antibiotics whereby just giving an antibiotic doesn't necessarily guarantee that they're going to work. What we need to be doing is making sure we give them at the right level. If we don't give enough, then that can mean that the patient doesn't get better because we don't get rid of the bacteria from the body. If we give too much, then that can cause what we call toxicity or adverse effects for the patients, which may mean that they actually end up having other problems associated with the, us trying to treat that infection. And so giving the right amount of antibiotics is very important. And research that we've been able to do now here at the Royal Brisbane Women's Hospital, thanks to the Royal Brisbane Women's Hospital Research Foundation, has meant that we've been able to describe what kind of exposures or doses of antibiotics are needed to ensure that patients have the best possible amount of antibiotic in the body so they have the greatest likelihood of getting better. This is crucial research. This is research that saves lives. And our work now has led to us developing uh, treatment guidelines which are used globally and that's all thanks to the support that we get from our generous funders uh, principally led by the Royal Brisbane Women's Hospital Foundation who to me are very special because they're the ones that provided me with my first grant way back in 2004 and has now led me to go on and perform the exciting research which I think makes a big difference and uh, as we've seen in recent times is actually changing the way that uh, world practice is in this specific area. Mm -hmm.